Wendy from Johnstown, Pennsylvania wants to know what gives me the most purpose in life. And that's an awesome question, Wendy. Um, but honestly, to answer it, I think the more appropriate question is who gives me the most purpose in life? And obviously that's Jesus. Um, but to go more in depth on that, I think I just really truly believe at my core that God created every single per person on purpose and with a purpose, that no one's an accident, that God created every single one of us in his image, that he loves us all so dearly, and that we are all so important and so special to him, and that he just longs for each of us to know his love. Um, and, you know, the Bible talks a lot about who God says we are. Um, God says, I'm a daughter of the Most High King. God says that he has a hope and a future for me and that it's good, um, that he has plans to prosper me and not to harm me. And all of these things really do drive me um, in my daily life. But what it really comes down to is just knowing that if God feels that way about me, he feels that way about every single person. So my job is to, is to love God with everything I am and also love people and love people unconditionally like God did. So um, that really drives me to get up in the morning and, and really um, do everything I can to the best of my ability to try to do things with excellence and to view art as, a, as an opportunity to minister to others. And, mm -hmm. um, and my phone's going off. Probably a person that I love is contacting me. And um, yeah, so that's what gives me the most purpose in life. It's just is just um, knowing that I'm called by God to do great things, knowing that every single person is born on purpose, and loving people and hoping that somehow my journey can, can help them see God's love. My favorite genre to act in. Ugh, that's a tough one. I don't know. I really can't decide if I'm being honest. Um, I love comedy because I love making people laugh. But I also love drama because there's something really cathartic and amazing about it. And I think um, while laughter is the best medicine, according to Proverbs, um, I, I also, I just, mm, I think there's something really special about crying and just releasing that emotion and what drama brings. So I don't know, genre? I don't know. I can tell you that I would want to play... Um, uh, someone in a biopic based on based on a real life person so the closest I've come to that is Esther in the book of Esther so that was a delight for me and hopefully I did her justice but I really can't pick a genre I like it all um, I just don't like horror movies just because they, I don't I don't like fear I think that that's not from God well I know it's not from God that's what Timothy says God did not give us a spirit of fear but of, of power love and sound mind so anyway <laughs> what's my favorite Bible verse are you Kidding me? Um, Charity Miller, this is the <laughs> hardest question ever to answer. The Bible is huge, if you didn't know. Um, it has, I think, 66 books in it or something like that. Um, oh gosh, okay, so here's a couple of my favorite verses. First of all, I love Psalm 139. The entire chapter of it is amazing. If you haven't read it, you should just stop watching this little interview right now and go read it. It's talking about God's love for us and how no matter what we do, we can't escape God's love and we can't escape um, God's presence. And of that chapter, I guess it's my favorite verse, is most people's favorite verse, which is um, Psalm 139, 14 which says that he formed us in our mother's womb and you know it talks about how he knew us before we were born and that's really big for me because i know that every single person is born on purpose and with a purpose that no one's an accident so i love that chapter of the bible i also love isaiah 54 17 that says no weapon fashioned against us will prosper that every lying tongue that rises up against us will cease um because i think that's just a, one of the promises of god that we can stand on and that's so powerful in prayer. Um, and so on that, I love, I don't know exactly where the verse is. I'm really bad with numbers, but I know my Bible. I know the verses. And it says that um, God's word does not return to him void, meaning it serves a purpose. It goes out and it, it goes forth and, it's, and it returns to God having served the purpose that it was meant for. Um, which just means if we pray something, we pray a promise of God, which is always true because the Bible also says that God is not a man, that he would be found a liar, that God doesn't change, that he's the same today, tomorrow, and he always will be the same. 
at today, tomorrow, and who he was, he's the same. He doesn't change um, like we do as people. And so if that's true, then we can bank on all the promises of God and all these scriptures in prayer. And then we can bank on the fact that, uh, that even if we feel defeated in prayer, if we're praying scripture, it will always come true. So those are a couple of verses I love. And um, I also really love, I believe it's in Galatians. I think it's Galatians. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll let you know. But it's, um, it says, am I now trying to be a friend of God or am I trying to be a friend of man? Because if I'm trying to be a friend of man, I'm no longer uh, a friend of God. I've made myself an enemy of God, um, some translations say. Which doesn't mean we shouldn't love people. We should love people almost as much as we love God. Obviously, God comes first. But we should love people relentlessly because God loves people relentlessly. But what it means is we can't seek man's approval over God's approval. And that's something that's always resonated really strongly with me because... You know, if you're walking in the Christian life, you're probably going to face opposition and you're probably going to face persecution. And um, that's good, you know. James 1 2 says, count, I count all my trials as joy. And um, so, yeah, I don't know. I could go on about so many Bible verses for so long, but those are a few of my favorites. So, <laughs> thanks, Charity. Nicole Carter wants to know what has been my favorite project or film to work on? Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm not, honestly, I'm not really sure. Um, I guess I should have an answer, but every project is so different. Every character I've played is so different. Um, I really liked working on iCarly because Nickelodeon is a super fun environment, um, and I love kids, and I, I just love the energy over at Nickelodeon, so that was really fun for me. And then the artist was really fun. I don't know. I like them all. The artist was really fun for me because I'm obsessed with the 1920s and um, the silent film era. So I loved that I got to work on that. That was definitely a dream come true of mine. I love playing Esther because, you know, if anyone has read the story of Esther, you know that she is just such an admirable icon of a lady. And um, I still can't believe that I had the privilege of playing her. I, I loved that role. Um, I don't know. I just, I've loved every role. I love my role in Days of Our Lives. I don't know. I just like telling stories and I think I can't really choose a favorite because each one ministers to the audience in a different way. So <laughs> I'm sorry. Hashtag fail. I totally messed this question up, but I guess my answer is that I don't think I have a favorite. <laughs> Rebecca Martell wants to know how she can pray for me, which is super sweet. Um, <laughs> That's really, really sweet. I appreciate you asking that. You can always just pray for me that, that um, you know, the Holy Spirit is the one who fills my mouth to answer questions in trying times. Um, and that I would just always be moving in God's spirit and, and not from a fleshly place. You know, if I didn't get enough sleep or if I'm hungry or something that makes everyone cranky, I think, um, that I would just always operate in God's love and then just pray for my marriage because I, I love my husband and he's so godly and I love him so much, but I always want to love him. And marriage is something that you work on constantly and it's definitely not something that is celebrated in Hollywood. So you can pray for those. Um, but honestly, just pray that I'm in God's will. Pray God's will for my life because that's, that's a, a prayer that God will always answer. How did I know I wanted to be an actress? I didn't. Um, oh gosh, it's such a long story, but I guess if I was going to say it really quickly, uh, <laughs> I'm like editing myself right now. In a nutshell, I, I auditioned for film on a whim at the University of Virginia during my second year of college. And what I did know, I thought I was going to be maybe a lawyer or a teacher. I love kids. Um, I also like upholding the law and I like, I like justice because God loves justice. But I, what I always knew was that God called me to, to have a job where I could make money to give it away and um, to have a job where I would have some sort of platform. So I always knew that that was, that was a goal of mine, was to have a job that made money, that I liked, and that um, you know gave me a voice to minister to other people and to spread God's love. And I think a lot of jobs do that. But I booked a film 
that I auditioned for on a whim in my second year of college and I'm both the lead and I'm stage fright but I got on stage or I got on set excuse me and um, I loved it I just fell in love with the film process and so I started praying about it and I just really felt like that was what God was calling me to um, and you know you know when it's God because the Bible says that his sheep will know his voice so I knew it was God asking me to pursue this but part of me thought oh, maybe it's me you know maybe maybe uh, in the depths of my spirit I just want to be famous or I don't know something um, some vain reason for wanting to be an actress and I prayed about it and I thought well if it's not God then I'll figure that out pretty quickly because I'm not going to have much success and if it is God and I don't go to LA and I don't pursue this then I'm walking in disobedience and I'd rather be wrong and follow up on um, on something that I think is God, then be disobedient. So that's in a nutshell, in the, in the simplest, in the simplest terms, that's um, how I decided to become an actress. But I could talk about it a long, long time. So do a follow-up question if you have any. Um, I'm I'm always around and I'm happy to answer questions. Thanks so much for asking that. I hope I answered your question justly. So Brenda Clayton from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. What's up, South Carolina? I'm from Virginia, by the way. Um, wants to know if I'm able to spend quality time with God during my daily schedule. Absolutely. Um, I think that obviously we're constrained by 24 hours in a day because that's how God set it up. But at the same time, there's always you can always make time for God. For me, it's often praying on the way to work. <laughs> even that I'll just remember my lines and that that if I'm tired or not feeling my best that I would still emanate God's love toward people and that I would be a light and that I wouldn't um, hide my light but that I would really shine it and shine it from a loving place and not from a place of judgment. So I pray on my way to work. I oftentimes will pray on the way home from work, you know, be like, thank you God. I pray a lot when I'm driving, basically. Um, but yeah, I read my Bible and and uh, I love my church. I go to an amazing church that's globally available on every continent except Antarctica called C3, which stands for Christian City Church. And I'm um, really involved with them. And I have a great group of girlfriends that I really um, can bounce ideas off of that are here in Los Angeles. So that's been a huge blessing. And um, yeah. In short, yes, I make time for God because you have to. If I'm not making time for God, I feel like, what am I doing with my time? You know, God is the be all end all. So yeah, he definitely gets he definitely gets a slice of my daily schedule. Even if, even if I don't get sleep, God gets some time. Thanks for asking. Thanks so much for sending in all your questions. I love, love, love them. Um, if you haven't seen either of my movies, you can check them out. They're called Turn Around Jake and The Book of Esther, and they are now streaming on pureflix.com. Thank you.